Hi boys and girls, the next step to add some details to the ground, we're going to add some grass and flowers. I want you to think about giving the impression that there's flowers and grass growing in the ground, so we're not going to draw flower shapes, we're going to use dots and lines to create flowers and grass. For this, I'm going to use paint, and I have a couple of different brushes here, one that's a very pointed brush, and the other one that is a small brush. You could also do this with crayons or colored pencils if that's what you have at home. I'm going to practice making grass. On the practice sheet, I'll want to hold my brush like a pencil, and I don't want to press down hard, just gently brush the tip against the paper, and I can make lines that look like grass. And I can practice this and see if I just take undiluted paint and see how dark that is. What if I put a little yellow on my brush with green? I can get a mixture. Long pieces of grass for the foreground, short pieces of grass for the background. I could also practice making flowers, which are going to be dots. Again, clean my brush off, dry it off so it's dry. And very carefully just touch the tip of the brush to the paper. Now if I press too hard, I'm going to get a bigger spot, or maybe that would be better for bigger flowers. And with the grass, if I press too hard, I'm going to get big strokes for the grass. Once I've practiced, I can move on to painting on my final. So I'm going to clean my brush off, load it with a little bit of paint, and then for the grass, I start and push, bring my hand up. So I start at the base of the grass and then add lines going up. And I'm going to make just a few little clusters of grass. Happy with that grass, you can see I made very organic shapes where the clusters of grass are. I tried to make a variety of them. They are smaller in the background, larger in the foreground. And now I could add some flowers. So I'm gonna use that same brush for the flowers, clean and dry my brush, and then just carefully, and I'm gonna start in the foreground because if I accidentally make it too big, then that would be fine in the foreground. And there we are finished. I've talked about a watercolor wash, using a lot of water to create blended colors in the sky and the ground. We've talked about dry brushing to create lines and more defined shapes for our flowers and our grass. We've mixed complementary colors to make a shadow. We've mixed analogous colors to make the sky and the ground. And we've also talked about texture using rhythm and repetition but not a specific pattern when we created the lines on the birch trees.